Hello, it's Angela. I'm coming on today to do a little tutorial on how to make these lovelies. These are what you call paperclip charms or paperclip beads. I've heard them referred both ways. So um, these are some that I've already made. So this one I did a little patriotic and this is fabric that I had and I used uh, my Fabri-Tac to glue it um, on the paper clip. And then I attached with this clamp attachment here, a little star and did some bead work with some beads I had in my stash. And that is on this stretchy wire. Came with my jewelry kit. So I have no idea um, what it is. This is it in black here. It's crystalline. Strong and stretchy. And it's in Chinese there. And there. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like I said, it came with my jewelry kit. So, <clears throat> that's that one. And I didn't put anything at the top here yet. But I'm probably going to just use a bull pin um, at the top of this one as well. To attach it. Um, and this is a two inch paper clip. Yes, a two inch paper clip. And then um, these are the jumbo four inch paper clips. These two here. Um, this one I put a butterfly um, bead, uh, some other beads there glued on. There's some lace here on the bottom. And then this is a uh, scrapbook paper. And then I just put a couple charms attached to one of these circle thingies. I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, so yeah, so we attached them that way. And then this one is another four inch. It has lace at the top and a different lace at the bottom. And then I attached these two real shiny, pretty beads on it. And then I just put a bull pin at the top to attach it to whatever. So those are three that I've made already, just to show you what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Okay, so let's put those aside. And I'm going to work with a two inch paper clip because this is what most people have in their stash. I just happened to have bought a bunch of these on Amazon. They come in a di couple different colors, like white, and this orange, and like a teal, a green, a yellow, a purple. Um, <clears throat> and then I also got some rose gold ones at Tuesday morning one time when I was there. So, I have those in my stash, but a lot of people don't. They might have the colored ones, or these, um, some people might only have the one inch paper clips in their stash, and that's okay too. And the one inch or what we call small paper clips. Those are the one inch. They fit in that little square there. Okay, so those are perfectly fine too. Okay, so um, we'll do one of each. We'll do a small and we'll do a large. And we'll do one paper and one fabric. Okay, so I have this Tim Holtz scrap here that I really like. And it is too small for the two inch, but I can trim it down just a tad a bit more and fit it on this one inch, which I think we might do. Actually, I want some more of that rose paper. That's the perfect width, too. Yeah, let's do that instead. See, I didn't plan this. <laughs> so, yeah, let's let's do that instead. Because I don't have to cut it then. So, if you're going to do the 2-inch paper clip, your paper needs to be like one and a half inches wide. Or one and five eighths. 
you want it a little bit wider. This is this paper here is one and five eighths, but one and a half would be perfect. Five eighths is just an inch over an eighth of an inch over the half mark. So it's not much. So I'm just gonna wrap this around just to get the so I am gonna have to cut the length. So I just want so that's pretty much all you're gonna do is just wrap your paper around your paper clip. Okay, so I wanna wrap it one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna cut it here, and I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors because it's not that serious. <clears throat> all right, so then what you wanna do is you wanna lay your paper clip down like this. Well, this is how I do it anyway. And then I put glue in the middle here and then I stick my paper clip in the glue and I try to close it up. So that little tab right here, you're going to want to put glue on. If you fold your paper over like that, it's about an eighth of an inch over. And that just creates a nice finished edge. That's the only reason I do that. And then this is going to wrap over like so. And I'm just kind of holding it down. I'm going to have to put some glue on this tab here. And I'm just using Fabri-Tac because that's what I have. You could use art glitter glue, um, hot glue, whatever, whatever glue you normally use is fine. You want something that dries a little fast though. Um, only so you're not having to sit there and hold it forever. So I like the Fabri-Tac because it dries pretty fast. And I just watered mine down with a little acetone. So it's kind of watery. But I leave my cap off a lot and it gets really dried out. And it doesn't want to come out. So, alright, so we got the paper wrapped around it. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to find my lace, which I think I put it up here. I got a whole bunch of stuff out. I found this one, but I believe one the other one. Excuse me if I knock the camera. Here it is. I think I knocked it. Sorry. Found it though. <laughs> All right. So then we're gonna take our pretty lace and we're just gonna go around the top, I think, like that. I could just kind of want the like the ruffle one down. Yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I like that. All right, so we're just gonna cut this. I want enough to wrap it around at least once, maybe overlap it a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there. And I'm gonna place this down. And then I'm going to flip it over. Put, I'm putting the glue on the paper. And I'm going to turn in the little flap first, and then the big flap, and then I'm going to cut this extra off here that I don't want. Okay, there we go. And because it's so thin, it's gluing the back because it's coming through on the paper. Okay, so there we have that. So that's basically how you do it, okay? The rest is up to you. It's uh, what you have in your stash, you know? You don't have to run out and buy a beads, beads and charms and all that crazy stuff unless you want to have it in your stash, then by all means. I'm an enabler when it comes to shopping. So, uh, not too long ago I bought a jewelry kit and I haven't really played with it, so for me to have a chance to 
do beads and things like that. It was a really fun idea, so I'm glad I did it. Um, so let's go ahead and attach a bowl pin. Now these I did get off Amazon. I just typed in bowl pins and I had like this little variety pack and it came with colored ones, um, the aluminum colored ones, some bronze ones, all kinds, gold. So for this one, I think we're going to use a pink one because I haven't used a pink one yet. Now it's fun with that. Yes, totally. Okay, so that takes care of our topper. And if you didn't have bowl pins, you could just do like a ribbon or, you know, um, lace. Whatever you have in your stash, you know. That's what's so fun about this. There's no rules, you know. You just do what you like. Um, and then we can do some little beads down here. Um, maybe a charm. Let's see what they have here. Uh, we could do another butterfly. Try if I have a smaller butterfly. That would be pretty. And I could put it on that string. So I just need like a small bead to go before and after the butterfly. Spacers. Trying to see what color beads I have here. Um, I don't really like any of the color beads I have for this. They're just not the right color. Um, this has spacers in it, but the hole was too small. Well, who says we have to have a bead, right? Let me just look one more time. No. Well, that's not bad, I guess. It's kind of red, though. kind of cool. Oh, we didn't really like that. I get this one too. We do that and that maybe. Let's give it a whirl and see what it looks like, shall we? I have this clear um, stuff too, like the black one came with my kit. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut it and tie a knot at the end so my beads don't come off. Now if I'm playing with this stuff earlier, if it came in, if you have a jewelry kit it came in too, um, it's real easy to tie in a knot and it's stretchy. And you can cut all the way to the tip of the knot and your knot won't come undone. So it is awesome stuff. And I'm going to try it with this long one first. Okay, I'm just threading that through. And then the butterfly. And then this one. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And then we'll just tie it on to here. And then once I tie it, I can cut it right at the knot. 
if you have beads and you like making dangles, I would definitely suggest to buy some of this clear and black stretchy stuff because it's really awesome stuff. And I might want that not to be so low. I kind of messed that up. So what I'm going to do is pull it the knot out because I didn't do it tight because I wasn't sure how low it was. Okay, now I can make it closer because it's stretchy. So hard to decide where you need it. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, I caught it. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so I'm going to put it through here. And I'm going to tie in a tight knot this time. Still hanging pretty low, but that's fine. I literally like that. I think that came out really cute. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, so that is our two inch. Now let's do the one inch, you would just do the same way. So you would just use a smaller paper clip and a smaller piece of paper or fabric. So let's do, since we use paper, on that one let's do fabric on this one let's just do this lace right here Ooh, my chair squeaking <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just wrap it around so it's kind of like if you've ever made boho beads I don't know I've never made boho beads but I've watched kind of like the same principle. I really like that. I like that it's bunchy like that too. Alright, so let's cut it off there so we can wrap it. Alright, so now that I measured it, go ahead and lay it out <clears throat> and I'm gonna put the glue on the lace not on the paper clip because if that's the finish side or that Okay, so because we're not going to need glue all over the paper clip because there's going to be spots where this won't touch. And I made the last paper clip so sticky, so I don't want to do that again. Um, Alright, so let's just place it here to start and wrap it. Come on, stick. taking it a second to stick on the from the middle all right so then we're just gonna wrap it like I sh did when I measured it okay I ran out of glue so I'm just gonna put glue on the rest of it And I got glue all over my new mat, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so there is our little paper clip bead.
Okay. So they don't have to be real extravagant. Okay. So let's do this one less. Let's do this one a little differently. Um, for example, let me go get my ribbon. Be right back. use a button on this one guys thinking I saw these let's just think it maybe no it's too big too big sometimes you don't know until you try but I do think I want a button on this so let me grab some ribbon and my buttons. Got the button. And I am digging for some ribbon. That might work. Alright, I don't want to take it. Should we stick with the pink thing? Got the buttons. I pulled this out, but I'm not sure I want that now. I think I might stick with the pinks. I think I might use some of this instead of ribbon. I think. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll use it all. Alright, so first off... Let's find a button, a little button for this guy. All my buttons are sorted by color. It's like the only thing I organized very well was my buttons. <laughs> I don't know why. Because I guess I got sick of looking through them all the time. All right, we need a small one. This is so pretty, this one. Ooh, I think I really like that. Ooh, what about this? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I don't know which one I want now. And I see another one too. really pretty too. I think I like that one. Alright, the first one. Oh wait. Now I see this one. No, it blends too much. This one stands out. Okay. It's going to be that button. It's stuck to my finger. So I'm not sure I want to use. I think I'm going to go with this. I think I'm gonna cut. You don't have to use it the way it is, right? So let's make it work. Oh, sorry. So I'm gonna cut just this first little track off and make it something I can use. Yes, I like that. All right. My puppy dog just came in the room, Scully. He laid down on the floor, so you might hear him try to get in my chair and give me a kiss. He's a lover. He's a two-and-a-half-year-old male pit bull, and I've had him. I have him, his mother, and his father. I don't have his father anymore. He got adopted. Um, they all didn't get along very well together, so... We made sure that daddy got a good home and we have mommy and son still and they get along great and they are such lovers 
So I'm just going to take this and put this through here. Like so. And then I'm going to... Actually, no. I'm going to put it through together like this. If I can. Like when you do a tag top. That's what I'm trying to do. But it's not working. Okay. Let me try one more time. There we go. Alright. And then gotta open the loop, take your ends, take your two ends and you put them through the loop like so and then you pull up on it like that and that is our little paper clip beads. See they can be simple too guys. Look, use what you have in your stash. Look at how adorable that is. Okay, so we did that one together and we did this lovely one together. I really like those two. Those are so sweet. And then these I did as I was practicing. So there you have it. All different ideas of what you can do with paperclip beads. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.